What's going on everybody and welcome back to the St. Thomas Dynasty here on NCAA 14. This is John Jay Gaming on the mic and today we are playing against Arkansas here at our home stadium. I don't know how we managed to get them to come here, but I'm not complaining. They were ranked in the preseason top 25, but you know their tough schedule has made them fall to 1 in 4. But they are a really tough team on paper still and we can't take them for granted. It's going to be one heck of a game, man. So if you haven't done so already, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you're brand new. Let's go ahead and jump into some game action, shall we? So now it's time to officially get things underway. Playing against the best team I think we've ever played in a game, like in this dynasty. You know, Arkansas, they may be 1-4 on the season, but they are... A very talented squad on paper so we're definitely gonna have our hands full and speaking of hands full there's Kyle Alexander running into uh, like multiple st. Thomas defenders but you know it still picks up the first as now second and seven it's Holt on the left hand side stiff arming Jared Odom to the ground and he's able to pick up 19 as the Razorbacks from the SEC look looking like an SEC team from early on, you know, we're not letting them score right away, but at the same time, you know, they're doing whatever they want to do right now. As we do get him to a third and one, as Kyle Alexander, he's going to throw to the right-hand side and find his wide receiver in Brian Baker, who almost got out of that one tackle. Let's go, broke that thing for six. Is now they're back at it again with a first and ten. This time we get a stand. We're finally able to get into his backfield as Billy Mitchell was able to get free on the blitz and get this first sack of the game. As now second and fifteen, they're gonna run it up the gut. It's Harvey as there is Jared Odom getting thrown to the ground before Billy Mitchell coming in making the tackle. It's a ten yard gain, so now it's third and reasonable as third and six. Alexander's going to try to throw, but it's intercepted. Jared Odom getting a score on the goal line. Picking off Kyle Alexander, and that takes seven points away from the Razorbacks. What a start for this defense. Bad news for us is that uh, we don't get you know anything going on our first drive, so we go free and out. And now the Razorbacks are back on the field once again. This time they're going to their 99 overall uh, mom's credit card running back, <laughs> as uh, you know, Perum Crow would usually say. And there he is again, just having a really tough time bringing him down. But eventually, Dale Garrison does corral him, only for a gain of four. As now Winston goes into motion for Arkansas. It's a play action. They're going to go deep, but it's Billy Mitchell. Picking it off, and just in a blink of an eye, we already forced two turnovers on Arkansas. The defense is really stepping up to the occasion right now. Two turnovers, two drives. You love to see it. But once again, we go free and out. So now we see Arkansas back on this field once again. Let's see if we can our defense can step up again as Miranda able to get the inter not the interception but the reception up the middle of the field goes for 27 we got lucky the first couple of times being able to force turnovers let's see if we can force at least a field goal bare minimum as Kyle Alexander picks up the first down as now they run their no huddle offense Alexander he's gonna hand it off to Burke again he's gonna cut it inside and Eric Bradshaw is gonna eventually come in there and make the tackle it's a nine yard gain second and short coming up and Burke is just gonna go ahead pick up the first down himself only a few yards but it's a fresh set of downs as they have it at first and goal once again last time we got an interception down here let's see if we can make a stand once again as Alexander's gonna try to run for it he's brought from behind but it's too late Kyle Alexander is able to scramble in there for the score is that's how this first quarter is going to come down. Defense has played really admirably so far, but we really need our offense to step up if we have a chance to win this game. So now, St. Thomas is on the field. Let's see if we can have better luck. First two possessions, 
We went free and out, but we finally get our first down. It's Lucas Coley picking up the first 12-yard gain. As we have tried to go run heavy early on, but, you know, we haven't had much luck so far as we throw over in the middle. It's Santiago Fountain able to put open up his defense a little bit. A 26-yard gain. As we're going to lean towards our pass a little bit more here. Try to throw it to our main man, Andrew Green, but it's broken up by Gary Logan. And it forces a second and ten as luck. Going to try to drop back. Try to throw back to Andrew Green this time. Thought that maybe it was, you know, interrupted. Could have been a pass interference call. But they never call those in the game. And now Lucas Cole is going to try to pick it up on the screen. And he's brought down hard. But it's kind of pointless to go or like to punt the ball away when we're this close. So we're going to go ahead, go for it here on fourth down, see what we can get. And we find Alex Garcia over the middle, picking up the first down once again. First catch of the day. What a time to make that first catch. As it keeps our offense on the field for now, let's see if we can make something happen. As Luck going to try to throw to Tristan Singleton, and he drops that pass. That would have been a touchdown if he caught it, but we'll see if we can get something shaken here. And there's Tristan again, dropping that pass. He had two opportunities to score and missed both of them, so we had to settle for the field goal. As now Kyle Alexander brings his troops back up to the line of scrimmage, is going to hand it off to Adam Burke for 99 overall. Mom's credit card running back, picking up another first down for the Razorbacks. As Adam Burke is just moving this f train along down the field. Another, as we do get him to a third and five, thankfully. But let's see if we can get this stop here. As Alexander, he's going to scramble. Defense was doing a great job covering upfield, but the contain was not there. And Alexander was able to escape and get the first. So next play. This time we're seeing Harvey out here. And this could be trouble. Jeff Outlaw able to come in there and make the tackle but Javon Harvey kills us right there as Arkansas has another great drive going here as they try to go to the left hand side it's Billy Mitchell he drops what could have been the second interception of this game for him he had open space that would have been six but instead it's third and nine as there's Jarrell Holt getting lit up by Billy Mitchell but he can't uh, jar the ball loose and it's going to be a first and goal on the one, which is ran in by Adam Burke. And just like that, the Razorbacks have a 14-3 lead here in Osh Hall Stadium. Wow. So the offense has not had much luck, but let's see if we can get something to shake here in the last two minutes of this first half as luck. He's going to try to throw over the middle. It's deflected away by Tim Thompson. We had a step on everybody. We just didn't throw it far enough, sadly. As now it's a second and ten. We're going to try to throw over the middle. Back to Singleton. He was open for a second. But that ball was also jarred loose. And now it's third and long that Kyle Luck is going to have to deal with. Going to try to throw it to Santiago Found He's able to finally make a catch for us. And it keeps our drive going here. So we have less than two minutes now in this first half. Going to try to throw to Adrian Allen. He's able to get out of bounds, but it's just shy of the first down marker. No need to run the no huddle just yet. You know, we can still take our time here. And it's almost picked off again. This time by number 41. Just did not see that safety. And now it's a third and inch. Going to throw to Santiago real quickly. Able to pick up the first. And he's down. Looks like he got a little shaken up there. We'll have to see what happened to him if he's out for, you know, more of it just the rest of his drive. As we finally get a catch from Tristan Singleton, it took four tries, but we finally got a catch for him. Able to pick up 27 yards. As we do see what happened to Santiago Fallon, he does, uh, he had back spasms, but he said he'll be returning soon. As we'll call a second timeout of this game. But for now, we'll keep Tristan Singleton in the game. Give him some experience at the very least. As Lucas Coley also able to get into get that first down. It's been a tough day on the ground, but is able to pick up the first there. 
As now we have a first and goal. Going to try to throw over the middle. Tristan Singleton was open, but we threw behind him this time. And now it's second and goal. Luck going to try to throw over the middle again. He finds Santiago Fountain. He's able to pick up six yards right there. As we will try to get to the line quickly. Try to save some time on this clock. Trying to get it to Tristan. But it's incomplete again. We do end up settling for a field goal. As we, you know, hold a, you know, we're only down 14 to 6. If we can get our offense going, we can definitely win this game. And now it's time to get this second half underway, man. Eric Bradshaw is ready to return this quick. Let's see if we can make something happen here. We need a spark. And we might get it here as Bradshaw is down the sideline. He's not going to be brought down until midfield. And we definitely need it, man. We have less than 150 yards of total offense so far. It's been a difficult day moving this ball down the field. You know, this SEC defense does not lie. As now we got a third and eight. Gotta make something happen. And we do! Finding Adrian Allen over the middle. It's a fresh set of downs. Next play, Lucas Coley. He's going to take it up the gut. He's going to be able to pick up eight more yards. He's finally starting to warm up a little bit. That's a third of his, you know, rushing yards for today that just happened on that carry as we try to throw to Allen again on this next play, and it's dropped. These drops are killing us, man. I'm not going to lie. It's been a little concerning, but we got to keep moving forward as third and two now. We throw over the middle. We find Alex Garcia, who takes a shot, but is able to hang on to the ball not nonetheless. Not getting a lot of looks as he did last season, but when he does um, get a look, he's able to make the completion. And speaking of completions, there's a caught pass by Andrew Green. Able to win on his curl route and get into the end zone. And now we're only a two-point conversion away from tying this thing up at 14. Let's see if we can make it happen here as luck. Going to try to throw over the middle. It's Santiago Fountain. Getting the two-point conversion, and this thing is all tied up at 14. And now Kyle Alexander walks his guys back on the field for their first possession of the second half. Let's see if we can keep up the great defensive effort that we've had so far. As he does throw over the middle to Brian Baker, picks up the first. Next play, Kyle Alexander moves Brian Baker into motion. Alexander is going to drop back the pass. He is all day. He's just going to decide to scramble with it and is not going to be caught until Eric Bradshaw says something about it. Does bring make the tackle, but they're already at midfield as now they get it off to Burke once again. Just being very difficult to uh, to bring down, you know, especially uh, in the backfield particularly as we try to... <laughs> We almost get him on that third and two as well a couple plays later. But of course, we completely whiff on him. So now first and ten, Alexander. He's going to try to run to the right-hand side. He is met by our safety, Zaire Hill and Billy Mitchell, who do work together to make the tackle. As now we got a third down again. Let's see if we can get better luck. As Alexander has so much open space able to get to the outside again Alexander killing us with the legs you know it, it's just been really difficult to deal with and so is this running game in general as there's Harvey bouncing to the outside and he gets in the end zone and look at this run that was a such a tough run to make just get, well, taking a look at the sky cam he breaks one tackle he breaks two tackles he almost broke a third as well and now Arkansas has a seven-point lead again. So now let's see if we can make something happen here. First and ten. It's Andrew Green up the middle. Able to convert off the play action. Our biggest play of the day. 37 yards. And now the Tommies are in business again as we hand it off to Lucas Coley. He's able to scramble upfield. Pick up 14 yards. This offense is starting to find its rhythm now. So let's see if we can turn this into a touchdown as we throw over the middle. It's Santiago Fallon wide open. Nobody covering him behind as the safeties were worried about the sides. 
as Santiago Fountain probably is going to get his easiest touchdown of this entire season after we throw over the linebacker. It was such a great throw and catch. As now this game is all tied up at 21 once again. Let's see if we can make something happen here. As now Adam Wright can't make the tackle and neither can Billy. Looks like actually it's Eric Bradshaw. He is eventually forced out of bounds, but man, he is so hard to bring down. Him and Kyle, as they're both very mobile and giving us absolute fits today. As it's a first and ten for Arkansas. Gonna go to Adam Burke again this time. And it's we just, we just can't bring this guy down. I don't know what else to do. I mean, we have it at aggressive, and so is this quarterback, you know, as Brian Burke, you know, is able to be brought out of bounds this time. But we got a second and three, though. Let's see if we can stiffen up here. And that's... He's, they give him the first down. Absolutely speechless. We do a good job covering the run that time. As now, they're going to try to pick it up to unscramble. And it's fumbled! Can we get it? Yes, we do! Dale Garrison falls on it. That's our third turnover of this game. Eric Bradshaw able to jar the ball loose on the tackle and Dale Garrison f falls on the fumble and now St. Thomas is back at it again with the white vans as they used to say as Kyle Luck is going to start by going up the middle he's have, having a really hard time scrambling himself but does pick up 10 here and will also pick up the first down right there some tough running and it sets the stage for one more quarter, all knotted up at 21. Can we get our very first win against an SEC opponent? Get your fours up, guys. This is going to be an exciting finish, I guarantee it. So let's go. First and 10, Kyle Luck dropping back. He's going to throw the right-hand side. He finds Santiago Fountain. Tight hole, but is able to get it in there anyways. No problem. It's a gain of 24 as we get back to the line of scrimmage. Luck, he's looking. He's going to get it to Andrew Green. And the ball does look a little low. So we'll go ahead and call a no huddle to make sure that play actually counts and they don't have a chance to review it. And we also get some good yardage from there too. So I can't complain. And we keep this thing moving. As now, first and 10. Luck, he's looking. He's going to try to throw over the middle. It's Alex Garcia making the catch. Nearly picking up this first down as well. As now we got this second and one coming up here. Going to see what we can make happen here as luck. He's going to scramble. And we have Lucas Coley in the back of the end zone. Touchdown, Tommies. And for the first time today, we take the lead here in this fourth quarter. Great throw and catch from Kyle Luck to Lucas Coley. So now it's time, you know, let's get another stop for this defense. We have the lead for the first time today. We are trying to keep it as Alexander. He has all day to throw. He's going to decide to scramble instead as there's Corey Ford able to corral him down this time as we got him on a third and free as Alexander. He's got some space. This could be trouble. He's got the blocks. Can Jeff Outlaw catch him? No, he won't. Not in time. And Kyle Alexander responds right back with a 64-yard touchdown, tying this game at 28. And now the pressure is back on the offense. Let's see how we are able to respond here as Kajaye Boyd is going to be returning this kickback. He's able to get to the outside. He gets tripped up at the 40. He could have been gone if it wasn't for that toe tackle. And now with 4.35 left in the game, the pressure is back on this offense. We need to get a score here. No matter what it is, we just got to get points. As Lucas Coley's going to start us off right. An 8-yard catch. It's his third catch of the day. As now, after a throwaway, we now have a third and three to deal with. As Alex Garcia gets a sh uh, shucking. Felt a 6.0 earthquake in my chair. But Alex Garcia get you know still able to hang on he's a tough player and so is Andrew Green making that catch in double coverage got redirected on the route but doesn't matter 
still able to get that completion and so uh, so we on this one too moving along pretty good so far and we don't need to rush either you know the clock is on our side you know if we could get some time off the clock and get points on the board that would be phenomenal as there's Andrew Green making another catch that puts him over 100 yards Andrew Green is on fire right now but so is this offense in general as Lucas Coley Oh, if it wasn't for that one man getting from behind, that would have been six. As we got second and four. Let's see if we can get to the outside. It's Coley. He's going to try to fight forward and is able to get the first down. And so we got two minutes left. Let's see if we can take the lead right here. Try to throw over in the middle. It's picked off. The first mistake all day by Kyle Luck. And it's at the goal line. Wendell Sullivan is able to read Kyle Luck, come up, make the play. And now Arkansas, with less than two minutes left, has a chance to take the lead. So now, first and ten. They're going to get it off to Adam Burke. He's going to try to take it up the left-hand side. He breaks some tackles. Adam Wright can't make the tackle. Neither can Eric Bradshaw, but Jeff Outlaw does get in there and finally clean it up. Three more broken tackles. That is tough to see. Is now Kyle Alexander. He's going to scramble. I thought that Kamer was going to, you know, imply a fumble. But he's actually going to be able to hang on to it this time around. As Kyle has almost 200 yards on the ground. As he gets his guys back to the line quickly. But look at this. One of their linemen go um, off sides. False start on the play. And now they got a first and 15 to deal with. As Alexander, he's going to try to throw on the run, but he doesn't put enough on there. As Zaire Hill was able to make the play. That is our fourth, inter fourth turnover of this game, and it can't come at a better time. As it now gives the Tommies in the position to win this game. So with 114 left, here comes Kyle Luck. Dropping back. He's going to try to throw over the middle. It's deflected away by Wendell Sullivan didn't quite see the ball in time that could have been intercepted that was a dangerous play as we're now gonna try to throw to the left hand side this time to Allen and that one's broken up so now we got a third and long we don't want to go free and out here so we need Andre Allen to make a play and we do 17 yards and we keep that thing rolling here as Kyle Luck Dropping back. He's looking. He finds Lucas Cole. He picks up a few yards as we do decide to take our first time out. So now, second and five coming up. Kyle Luck in the shotgun once again. Going to try to throw it to Jamie Smith. Should have set the feet, but since he did it, it's just going to fall incomplete once again. And now we got a third and five once again. As Luck's going to throw to the right-hand side. He's got Allen. Who gets lit up like a Christmas tree. But we are in the red zone. And we are in the field goal range of our kicker, Pat Hampton. Who's go but right now, we're going to throw it right hand side. It's Allen and we almost get in the end zone. Right there, right now. As we'll try to walk some time off. See if we can get in this end zone and we do. Lucas Coley able to scamper into the end zone. And we make this a 7 point game once again what a way to take the lead right back and now it comes down to this can Kyle Alexander throw it deep enough and get a touchdown on this play as they throw deep it's Jarrell Holt able to make the catch but he's well short of the end zone as St. Thomas is gonna walk away victorious for the fourth time in a row so your final score is 35 to 28 as we get our first win against an SEC opponent. Let's freaking go, man. So checking out the stats for our guys coming off another great win against an SEC squad. Kyle Luckman had the game of his life, it seemed like, at least from a passing perspective. Almost 400 yards passing, three touchdowns, although he did throw the one interception towards the end. He was able to bounce back and lead a game winning drive for us now in the running game we did have a little bit harder of a time going but lucas coley eventually did find a rhythm in this game he had 18 carries for 73 yards today and was able to find the end zone 
in those last few seconds of that fourth quarter and then the receivers man a lot of work done by receivers mainly andrew green and san diego found both you know andrew green hit over 100 yards but san diego found also had close to 100 yards as well while both getting into the end zone whereas lucas coley was also able to find a um you know find pater you know with that passing game as well having a receiving touchdown with four catches and 26 yards now this defense was electric today the most turnovers that we've ever forced in this dynasty and we were led by billy mitchell who did have a tackle same with jeff outlaw you know look at these turnovers though jared odin was able to get an interception billy mitchell was able to get an interception zaire hill was also able to get an interception but that's not all eric bradshaw our all preseason all-american cornerback was able to force a fumble today and then dale garrison our outside linebacker was able to eventually recover that same fumble and we had four turnovers today not to mention we got a couple sacks as well from adam wright and billy mitchell if it wasn't for this defense we would have definitely lost this game but kudos to everybody on this squad for making this victory possible man we also get some great news on the recruiting front as well in addition to our victory against arkansas antoine black buster porter james parsons ryan jenkins sam doyle chris bean those six guys are committed to play at st thomas next season and i am extremely excited to bring all of these guys on the squad we also have multiple people that are now ready to visit you know got five recruits that you know, we'll try to squeeze in the next couple weeks try to bring them on the squad as well so after we beat probably the best team we'll have to deal with on paper we will now go into mac play in the next episode we will start with going on the road to play against bowling green who have really struggled so far in this season they are currently 0 and 4 almost beating louisiana tech but you know it just hasn't been a pretty um season for them for us we have all the momentum in the world and you know who knows maybe we can run the table that's certainly what i'm going to be going for but that's going to be something for next episode man in the meantime i really appreciate you guys tuning into this video if you haven't done so already i encourage you to like this video as well as subscribe if you're new this is john jade gaming on the mic and i hope you all have a wonderful day Take care, everybody.